previously on Home and Away. Just got a text from Ruby and she's going to be home pretty soon. So you don't want her to see you with me because you think it'll make you look like a hypocrite? Charlie the cop and Charlie the mum are one and the same person. You knew it was right then. You knew it was what you wanted. This afternoon shouldn't have happened. From now on, I just want you to stay away from me. Angelo, I want to keep my baby. Can I come in? You already are, man. Oh, well, I'm just looking for Nicole. You are. Oh, you look so nice in that dress. Um, <clears throat> just regarding the Braxton Hicks situation, when it occurs this late in the pregnancy, it kind of means labour is imminent. What are you trying to do, Marilyn? Freak her out before breakfast? Um, yeah, well, nothing surer. And one of these days, she is actually going to deliver this baby. Hmm. And if the other day turned out to be more than Braxton Hicks... I would be holding a baby now instead of carrying it like this. Yes, and I would have missed out on the birth as your birthing partner. <clears throat> so I've made a plan. A plan? Yes. Firstly, I need you to pack your bag so you're totally ready. Oh, good thinking. And secondly, someone needs to be with Nicole at all times. Oh, no, I really don't now, think I know that... you don't want to put anybody out, so I'm going to take up the slack on that one. Now, for all other times, I have made a roster. <clears throat> Just consisting the people that live in this house. Now, when the big day comes, Nicole's waters break, I have made a list of people to contact in order of the calls. Put myself at the top of that list, hope you don't mind. <laughs> now, any questions? Yes, just one. Regarding the postnatal phase, who's going to be looking after Nicole then? But, well, I am. Well, Nick, I just want you to know that before, during and after the birth, I'm going to be here for you. You've got nothing to worry about. <laughs>